Thanks for listening to 5 Minutes to Learn. This is Michael Reisinger with Immutable Law Number 4, Continuous Improvement. All right, so as I've said from the beginning, these immutable laws are my core values. They came from a deep exercise and a lot of time and validating them with my clients uh, to call out as my immutable laws. So continuous improvement. Those who know me well know that I eat, sleep, and breathe this. I've used continuous improvement in my own personal life with my diet, with my spiritual health, with health in my marriage, uh, health as a father, health with friends, people in my community, other uh, business owners in the city that I've kind of turned on to, you know, methods to improve or ways to, you know, bring it into their business. It's something that I am maybe the most passionate about, but I have a formal background in lean process improvement that I received from the University of Kansas Health System. Great organization taught me a lot about continuous improvement. So I feel super proud and qualified to talk about this. So uh, the Japanese called it Kaizen, which means change for the better. And then we have the idea of Hansei, which is reflecting on your contribution every day and deciding what you can do better the next day or what you're going to do better today versus yesterday. So, you know, obviously continuous improvement, it's not just a methodology, it's a mindset. Okay. And businesses that have this mindset, no matter how good they get, no matter how good they are at what they do, if they understand that they can always improve, guess what? They are always going to improve and things will get incrementally better. And guess what? People will like working there. Customers will like buying from them and they'll be able to withstand what ever changes in their own marketplace or industry will come from because they are always focused on getting better. Okay. So one of the reasons why you want to stay, you know, improving and you want to improve all the time is because it helps you stay ahead. Okay. Again, the dynamic market's going to evolve. Things are going to, you know, change with customer preferences. Technology is going to advance. I mean, look in the last 10 years at what's happened with technology and what's happening with AI and all that stuff. Right. So, You're also, if you are a learning organization or continuous improving organization, you're going to attract top tier A players, okay, that are seeking a place where they can utilize their skills, but also grow and develop and develop others and improve things because people that are A players, they are hungry to improve and learn and they get bored when they're not doing that. Okay, so then it's also... If you have a a methodology of continuous improvement and that spirit and that philosophy in your company, it is going to equip every employee to contribute to it. Okay. So it will make it a, your company, a safe place for people to raise their hand and tell you when there's defects, tell you when they see waste, tell you when they see loss of value, all of that. And they'll bring their ideas to you. Sometimes the best people to give you ideas. In fact, most of the time, if not all the time, the best people to bring you feedback on improvement are the people who are actually doing the work. And if you're an executive leader, you need to rely on those people and you need to to build trust with those people to say, hey, we're always looking for improvements. If you see something that we can improve in, please let us know. Please tell us. And then when they give you an idea that you're not a, you're, you're not a fan of, don't slap them on the wrist for it or tell them why it won't work. Sit there with them talk with them about it and tell them about, you know, that's, that's a, that's great. And then maybe what you do is you task them with thinking about some possible resistances with your customers or within the organization, have them come back to you. Okay. So, um, as a coach, if you brought me in and we needed to, you know, implement continuous improvement, there are so many ways we could do it. You don't have to be a lean organization. You don't have to learn lean or six Sigma or anything like that, but basically you would want to make sure that all of your leaders are committed to modeling this role. Okay. It has to start at the top. Okay. Everyone in leadership has to show we are in a continuous improving organization. We want to help you all develop your skills and we want to train you as to how to look for improvements and how to tell us about them. Okay. Give them a vehicle. Maybe we would create a couple of people that are on the leading edge in your company and have them lead up change initiatives or continuous improvement workshops or whatever. And then lastly, and definitely not least, you need to implement a feedback loop and recognition system for people who are improving things or raising their hand and and, uh, making you aware of things that must improve, okay? So kind of in conclusion, obviously I'm passionate about continuous improvement. It's not a destination, it's a journey, okay? But it requires commitment, it requires participation, it also requires a collective mindset and humility. You gotta be able to say, I don't know the best answer, I need to talk to my team about what the best path forward is. 
Thanks for listening to all the mutable laws. Really appreciate you. If you want to hire me, go to vocatioddservidium.com.